Drivers in Ashland now have a chance to weigh in on the so-called road diet. Eight months after the city narrowed North Main Street to drivers, a study says the project is paying off. But not everyone agrees. NBC 5's Roma Villavicencio is live with more. Roma? Natalie, for almost a year now, North Main Street has been down to, um, to two lanes or in some spots even three. It used to be four lanes. A traffic engineer told the city council that the road diet is working and now it's your turn to weigh in. Ten months since Ashland's Main Street went on a diet and many Ashlanders aren't sold on going slimmer. I do not think that the road diet has done any benefit for, uh, for, for traffic. In October 2012, the city brought North Main Street from four lanes to three. It also create a safer vehicle travel uh, for uh, cars and, and trucks going through the area. Mike Fott is Ashland's Public Works Director. He says a study launched in January shows mixed results over the road makeover. I'd say that it's performing in some cases better than we had anticipated and in other cases uh, you know, right where we thought that we'd, we'd, uh, we'd see the performance of the road diet. The city hired a private engineering company to gather the data on safety, speed, travel time, bike and pedestrian use. Fott says that the road diet has brought a decrease in car accidents so far this year. There's only been three accidents here on Maple and Main Street. But drivers say the $180,000 diet carries too heavy a price tag for what it's worth. It seems like it was expensive and maybe not necessary, potentially actively not helpful. Um, it's been problematic for pedestrians. Others say they're seeing benefits. I love how it slowed people down, that like as we come into Ashland, it, people drive, tend to drive really fast way above the speed limit. Now the city of Ashland wants to hear from you. Thursday they'll post signs encouraging public feedback because after all the road diet is just a trial based on results.